gonna do a video on the Synergy 15K versus the Revo 12.4. I already did a video on the Synergy 15K versus the Revo 12.9, but let's compare the Synergy 15K to the Revo 12.4. Alright, this is going to be equipment I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my Predator Q. As you can see, this is the 12.9. This is the 12.4. And this is the Synergy 15K. What I'm going to do is going to weigh all these shafts and see if the comparison is them. Alright, I got the scale on zero. So we're going to go ahead and weigh first the 12.4. That weighs 4.05 ounce. The 12.9, 3.85 ounces. And then the QTEC Synergy 15K, 3.85 ounces. But for some reason, as you can see, the Revo 12.4 outweighs both of the Synergy 15K and the 12.9. All right, I'm gonna do the deflection test starting off with the Synergy 15K. I'm gonna do extreme right on this one and try to get the center diamond and let's see how far it deflects. Alright, I just did those shots with the Synergy 15K and the Revo 12.4. The biggest thing why I switched to the Revo 12.4 versus the Synergy is like I said before, it was a slim taper. I didn't get used to it. As you can see how the Synergy 15K to the Revo, this taper is very slim. It goes pretty much all the way here, then it starts tapering. As you can see, this is a lot thicker on the Revo. So like I said, I use backhand English. When I use backhand English, it pivots. And that's where our, the little taper actually helps. It doesn't give me that slippage, what I was talking about. And with the Synergy, it has that slippage here. I can feel it. And when I use backhand English, it's not as consistent. So I didn't get used to that. That was the biggest thing. Just the little race taper actually helped me out on backhand English because I use backhand English for most of my shots depending on the situations and that's one of the biggest thing I did not get used to uh, don't get me wrong the QTEC Synergy 15k plays very well I can use a lot I can put a lot of spin on it it gets it gets the cue ball around with no effort but it does have that deflection compared to the Revo but 
all this is aiming a compensation but once you get the aiming compensation the shaft itself is an excellent shaft it feels like wood it shoots like wood and doesn't have that dinging sound just like the Revo does but I just could not get used to that super slim tapered I hope this helped thank you for watching and see you guys next time thank you for watching please subscribe me don't forget to thumbs up Bye-bye.